you know, it's been a long time since I've made a video. And so I'm trying to just get back into, I guess, the process of it. So this is all kind of like new to me, but not new, but it's been years. I'm not even looking into the camera, but hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jordan Stedmean. Stedmean? What the fuck? Hey guys, my name is Jordan Stedman and I am a chef. You guys have probably like, wait a minute. For those who may know me, Dan's never cooked before. When the hell did he learn how to become a chef? Well, I'll have you know, not having a car currently and also being uh, innovative, I've decided to come up with some recipes that I think are good, which I think even Gordon Ramsay himself would kill for my ingredients but i'm a simple guy so i, I want to make something simple so we're gonna start with something classic a classic breakfast or honestly you can eat this throughout any part of the day and that is cereal let's get started don't mind the mess right here it's stuff i gotta clean up and that's not the cereal because uh, as you can hear well it's like a piece in there and you probably barely see it's out of focus, but yeah, that's empty. So we're gonna go with something classic. Personally, I don't, oh, this is a uh, tan line from my watch. <laughs> I work too much in the sun, but uh, Cheerios is not my go-to cereal. Honestly, someone else got it and it's just been here for a while. But yeah, we're gonna go with Cheerios. And like I said, I'm an innovative guy and I don't really have any milk at all. So we're just gonna go with this. Orange juice, let's get it. it look, I know some of you guys may be scratching your head. Uh, don't mind Gerald the Duck right there. And I know some of you guys are scratching your head like, okay, why is he using orange juice? Well, first of all, shut up. And second off, orange juice is the best supplement or substitute, I'm sorry, for milk. Anyone with a brain f knows that. So, we gotta be creative, be innovative. And I promise you, this will be and stand the test of time, the best substitute for normal cereal. <laughs> and so obviously me being a man of culture and you know, I gotta go with how I would normally make regular cereal. So first off, you gotta start out with the OJ. We're not gonna do too much because I'm not really personally that hungry, but I'm hungry to where I can snack on something. And you gotta get the nasty ass Cheerios. And always, this is even for milk goers, pour the milk first before the cereal. That's the best way to get all, you know, the liquids in there before you marinate it with cereal. And see, like I said, I'm not trying to eat that much because I'm not trying to do that much. Like I said, I'm just trying to snack and it's already 10.43, so I'm pretty tired. So we're just gonna, not to forge, grab a spoon and stir. Yeah. It's delicious, honestly. I'm just, I don't know, mesmerizing. Like I said, I want this to stand the test of time. So I'm trying to like add flavor to it because like orange juice may add some flavor to the Cheerios, but come on. Cheerios is just still plain, unless you're like an older person, I guess, who likes it. But I know some people who are young that likes Cheerios, but anyways, I'm trying to add flavor and variety to the cereal. And look, I'm still not looking at the camera. I'm still new to this. So I think the best type of seasoning, and yes, I said seasoning, we're gonna start out with uh, some sea salt. <laughs> Can't really do this with one hand because it's one of those fancy ones. So, Take the spoon out. What we're gonna do is do about mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then you're gonna wanna stir that into the cereal and just like let it sit there for about 30 seconds to a minute just to, you know, let it marinate, let it taste pretty damn good. Okay, and then next you're gonna wanna add some paprika and that will really like, it will really spice up the speech, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak. <laughs> It'll really spice up the cereal. And I know you'll get the saltiness with your vitamin C, but you also need vitamin P. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
That's oh, probably a little bit too much there, but we should be okay. So, we take it, we stir it in there, get it nice and mixed in. I'm telling you, this is gonna be something to die for. And there's still some left over on a spoon, so and like I said, this ain't easy to do with one hand. So yeah, we're about ready. We just need one more ingredient. All right, so just in case uh, the cereal gets a little too strong, as you can see right here, our last ingredient is water. Because let's say the cereal is too strong, right? With all the spices and the salt and the OJ in it, you're gonna wanna have something to, I guess, calm your taste buds as soon as you experience greatness in your mouth. And no, I'm not saying pause. So we're gonna add, well, we already added the water. We just go ahead and mix it all up together. And we're gonna let it sit there for about 30 more seconds, maybe a minute, just to, you know, extra cause. And we should be good to go. Okay, and after you're done putting in and waiting for Okay, after you're done putting in everything, the after 30 seconds to a minute, your liquid with the OJ, the paprika, and also the salt, it should all mix in and marinate and turn into like a white substance. Now look, this isn't milk, I promise you. It just turned white. So take what you will with that information. I'm really curious on how this tastes. And you know what? I think it's time we just get straight into it. Okay, so we're doing the taste test for homemade cereal with definitely weird white substance in it. So yeah, let's dig on in. First big bite. You know, after a few tries, this shit pretty busted. I think Gordon Ramsay would give this shit like a 15 out of 20. I think that's a dub for me. Look, I'm still not looking into the camera. I promise this is something I'll get used to soon, eventually, once I get my foot fully back in the door and get back to my video grinding shit. But you know, if you want more of this, just uh, let me know. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Have a nice one and peace. I'm actually, I'm like really curious on what this does taste like, all jokes aside. <sighs> I fucking hate my life. Yeah, we're gonna do, okay. 